Welcome to this Click tutorial. Let's take a look at the Chemical Properties and Safety Data Sheet Support Modules. Both modules bring a wide variety of chemical, toxicological, and environmental properties into a single report. They even summarize the variation of these properties when multiple sources are available. The Chemical Properties project will return every property found in Click's curated database, and the SDS Support module will filter the returned properties to only those relevant to a safety data sheet. In this example, we're going to look up two common active ingredients in dandruff shampoos. First, add a new project. Select either Screening Level Chemical Properties or SDS Support, whatever suits your needs. This puts us back on the dashboard looking at our new project. Now use the Add Chemicals button to add selenium sulfide and salicylic acid. Click on that info card in the upper right hand corner of the video for more details about the chemical search process. If this box displays running, that means that some properties were not available as experimental data, and Click is running QSAR models to estimate those properties. Click will email you when it's completed, and you'll be able to move on. You'll never see the running icon twice for the same chemical. Those values are added to the database. Once all the chemicals show complete icons, you can click here to view all of the properties for just one chemical at a time. Or click this button in the upper right if you'd like to see all chemicals side by side with summarized properties. Let's look at that summary first. Here you have two tabs, one for toxicity data and another for physical and chemical properties. You can hide and show chemicals by clicking on these eyes. I could click here for the modeling methodology and data source citations, or I could click here to download the results in an Excel file. These blue table links take you directly to the individual chemical pages that are linked on the dashboard. Here you can take a closer look at the data. Click's curated database aggregates values from multiple databases, and this table is a detailed summary of their variation. It displays common statistics in the data sources. The confidence level tells you whether the value is an experimental result, or it will display the model confidence if the value is a modeled estimate. If you're interested in more details, check out the PDF tutorials on the tutorial page, or look at the links in this video's description. If you'd like to learn more about other Click projects, check out these other tutorials from Click.